Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brandon Pickett. I am the creator of XCW West Unleashed, and tonight I bring to you a night of qualifying matches as just about every match on the card tonight earns the winner an opportunity at a title match at XCW Gold Rush, which will be happening soon. So without further ado, let's kick it off with episode 3 of XCW West Unleashed. And uh, also before I start, you'll notice a brand new entrance movie and a brand new arena. So enjoy. XCW West starts right now. Hey guys, thank you for smashing that like button. Enjoy guys. This is XCW West Unleashed, episode 3, Night of Qualifying Matches. Thank you guys for joining me tonight for XCW West Unleashed. I do appreciate it. Uh, we will be seeing some qualifying matches for uh, the XCW West World Title, the Tag Team Titles, the Women's Title. The Intercontinental Title has already been decided. It will be at the Gold A Rush pleasure to have you Dust Claim Board, ladies taking and gentlemen. on Ricky Armstrong. We are live with this capacity action. crowd, and ready to US kick things off. Title. You yes, don't see a match card like that Russia very often, so don't you we'll dare apologize. change that but channel. But that doesn't mean that come 2K19, I might be looking for some new ones, as obviously a lot of them from that I've downloaded creations from 18 will obviously probably not be making it in 2K19. Um, also, want to announce that in the U.S. Uh, title match, we've already um, announced one qualifier, and that is Victor Savage. He will be taking on... Um, an opponent who will be determined next week. Hey, Damien, how's it going? And our global title will also be decided here soon, the qualifiers for that match. But that's for the pay-per-view. Tonight's show, we will see Ricky Armstrong. This match here is going to determine one of the qualifiers for the world title, or excuse me, the global title that will be on the line at the Gold Rush pay-per-view. So looking to win an opportunity at that title is Marcus Briggs, Adam Thornstow, Xander Moore, Ryan Wilde, Amir Ryan, and Nick Indovino. Leon Blackgrave will take on Nikki Sutton. The winner of that match will take on Victor Savage to determine the first ever United States champion in XCW West at the pay-per-view. We will hear from Chris Danger. Colt Murphy will take on Brody King in what has been a heated rivalry starting here in XCW West. Sorry, guys. I'm a little tired. This match here. Now, this is a little funny, guys. This is an eight-man over-the-top rope battle royal. But in this match here, you know, Damien, I don't think I did ever add your guy. Um, You'll have to, you'll have to remind me exactly who he was. I, I don't think I did. I apologize. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, back to this here. Um, this match here will determine uh, one of the tag teams that will be represented in the tag team match for our pay-per-view Gold Rush. So with that in mind, representing the Wolf Pack is Aiden Wolf. Representing the Boneyard will be Ace. Representing Wolf Lair is Scott Toffick. Representing... The Surplus Marines is Devil Dog Bret Hartford, representing D-Day is Dangerous War, and representing the team of Raiden Stone and Victor Savage will be, of course, Raiden Stone. The team uh, representing Madness will be Dinkum, and representing Havoc will be Jimmy Havoc. So the winner of this match will take on the winner of a match just like this next week, and those two teams will battle it out at the pay-per-view to determine the Tag Team Championship. This match here will be a qualifier to determine one of the men who will compete for the global title at Gold Rush. So it'll be a ladder match, Fatal 4-Way action, as Angelo Owens takes on Mike Walker, Brandon Blaze, and The Love 
James Love. We will hear from myself, Brandon Pickett, who is also the GM and a competitor here in XCW West. And in our main event, it's women's action as we look to determine one of the qualifiers for the women's title in a six-woman battle royal as Amanda Blaze takes on Cynthia Edenwood, Elvira Wolf, Daniel Blackheart, Rachel Sharp, and Haley Schmidt. So let's kick it off with Ricky Armstrong. All right, Damien, I will uh, I'll write down that name here real quick. I got a pen and paper right here. I'll write that down. And uh, I will definitely keep you in mind if I happen to decide to drop a character. I will keep you in mind and uh, see what I can come up with. Damien S. All right, thanks, Damien. I appreciate it. I just wrote that down, and uh, I'll look at that as soon as I get done with this show and uh, see what I can do. I really do appreciate everybody who uh, is joining me tonight for XCW West Unleashed. Like I said, this is episode three. I do plan on, if the timing is right tonight, I do plan on doing episode four, which will end all the qualifying matches. So hopefully tonight we can get through most of the qualifying matches. And then uh, obviously on the next show, we'll wrap it up. And then we are getting set and ready for the Gold Rush pay-per-view as soon as I get the arena completed. So as soon as I get that completed, um, which will probably be tonight, we will be having the pay-per-view sometime tomorrow, if not Tuesday. So make sure you guys uh, hit the like button, you subscribe, and turn on notifications because, unfortunately, with my work schedule, you never know when an episode of XCW West is going to be dropping. So it's always good to subscribe and Something turn on notifications. Him. Here we go. Here comes this crowd Ricky obviously Armstrong, wants to know what's going on. One of the men who qualified in our first episode for the Intercontinental title match at Gold Rush. He now knows his opponent who was announced last week, Dust Claymore. And it doesn't look like Ricky's a little happy in his opponent choice, but uh nonetheless, let's see what Ricky Armstrong has to say. Now you see I'm not exactly what you call a nice guy. When I was in UFC, I ran through everybody. And now that I'm here in XCW, I've dominated some of the North. I've dominated the West. Or excuse me, the South. And now I'm here in the West to prove that I am the best superstar in XCW. But to do that, it looks like I have to go through what they call a rookie. And that rookie's name is none other than Dust Claymore. So, Dust, I got a question for you, my friend. Why don't you lace up those boots, come down to my ring, and face me like a man? Definitely a fan favorite. Come on, buddy. I don't have all night. Well, he isn't going to have to wait any longer, ladies and gentlemen. There is the other qualifier for the Intercontinental title. These two will meet one-on-one -on -one at Gold Rush. It will be Ricky Armstrong and Dust Claymore. We thought we might hear from him tonight. You know Just this guy came prepared. This could Ricky honestly be about a few things. Let's kind of wait out. a little bit. We know that Ricky's not a very patient man, ladies and gentlemen. Ricky, when he gets in that ring, he's always ready for a fight. Just Claymore, the rookie here in XCW, playing a little mind games, I think, with Mr. Armstrong. Look at disgust on Dust Claymore's face. No love between Listen, these Ricky, superstars. That's I understand for sure. that you're one of the best, and you do things well your own way. But you know what? I might be a rookie, and that's all right. But I can tell you this: at the pay-per-view, I won't be a rookie no more. When I beat you for that, and become the first ever XCW West Intercontinental Champion. Psh, are you kidding me, kid? You ain't nothing. I've done things here in XCW and other promotions that you, kid, can only dream of. You think you got what it takes to beat me and become the first ever Intercontinental Champion? I don't think so, man. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to beat you down so bad. No love between these Whoa, superstars, let me stop that's you right for sure. There, Ricky. You think you're going to come and defeat me? Yeah, I understand I'm a rookie, but you know what? 
I won one hell of a ladder match to qualify for this pay-per-view match. And if I can do that, I sure as hell can beat you. What do you say, fans? You know what? I've just about had enough of you. Look at you. You're shaking in your boots. Please, don't hurt me. Ooh, big scary man. Save me, mommy. Save me. Well, you know what? Ain't nobody gonna save you, Dust. Because at the end of the day, and at the Gold Rush pay-per-view, I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm coming for gold. Yeah? Well, you're not the only one. I'm coming for gold, too. And I'm telling you right now, the fans can see it. The fans can taste it. They want it. They want to see you and me right here, right now, tonight. Let's not wait for the pay-per-view. What do you say? If you got the balls to step in this room with me later on. Balls? Come on, kid. You're going to stoop to sayings like that? Go steal somebody else's gimmick. You think you're better than me? Well, at the pay-per-view, let's find out. You, me, locked inside hell in a cell. UFC rules, kid. Well, that's fine with me, Ricky. You think that's going to stop me from doing what I want to do, and that is becoming the Intercontinental Champion? I don't think so. So, Ricky, I'm telling you right now, you've been warned. Whether it be tonight or at the pay-per-view, I'm kicking your ass. Oh, and Ricky's had enough. This kid got under the skin of Ricky Armstrong, and these two looks like they want to start this right now, not wanting to wait for that Hell in the Cell match at the Gold Rush pay-per-view. Oh, and Dust Claymore, nice drop kick. And this kid, definitely quick. Oh, what a boot to the side of the face of Armstrong. Ricky could be definitely hurt. Now a kick to the gut. Now Dust Claymore has him up on the shoulders. Airplane spin into the cutter. Dust Claymore, I think, is more than well prepared for Ricky Armstrong. And Ricky Armstrong, I think he's going to have to come up with a new strategy against Dust Claymore at the pay-per-view. If more of this continues like it is right now tonight, I definitely see a great champion. Uh-oh, I spoke too soon. There's Ricky. Catches Dust Claymore with the boot. Ricky off the ropes. Need a face. What impact by and Ricky there is. Armstrong. The is Ricky with the clothesline oh, right man, south. Before Dust it could even Claymore. start, too. Now the official in the ring trying to stop Ricky from doing more damage. And Ricky says, uh-uh. I want this punk right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a great rivalry heading into the pay-per-view. I can't wait for the Hell in the Cell match between Coming these two. Coming up is a form of combat that personifies Ooh. the concept of every well, ladies man Ladies and gentlemen, let's himself. get settled in for our first Enough match. Hype. Let's get this, this is six a qualifier to determine one of the uh, competitors who will compete for the global title at Gold Rush. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a six-man over-the-top rope battle royal. Like I said, winner will be one of the two competitors to compete for the global title at Gold Rush. And as we get set here in a few minutes to watch the entrances, ladies and gentlemen, definitely uh, choose wisely who you think that you want to win this match. As next week, we will have another battle royal to determine the other qualifier to take on the winner of this match and those two will compete in what will be one hell lacious TLC match so I cannot wait for that the global title will be on the line in a TLC match the intercontinental title inside hell and a cell so We've already figured out two matches that are going to happen. We just got to figure out who the competitors are going to be. And this right here will definitely determine one of them. So get set in, ladies and gentlemen. XCW West Unleashed. The night rolls on here in just a minute. Thank you for watching.
go. Here's our first match of the evening. Six-man contest is a battle Marcus royale. Briggs. Making his way to this the ring. This former security guard turned pro Japan, wrestler. Weighing in Wanting to make an impact here in XCW West. Marcus Definitely Briggs. not a man I'd want to meet in a if dark this alley. One lives up to the hype this Byron, man would definitely beat you down. Match here tonight. Tonight. There's no reason to think this one Definitely not feel sorry about it. The hype, Michael. I'm pretty we'll sure being security probably knows many ways to make sure he never gets caught. WWE. Marcus Briggs. And he clearly comes into this match in tremendous like physical size, condition. Julia. Yeah, but where is he, he mentally, Cole? That's that the ring, real question. I don't care about how good you look. If you don't have it upstairs, sure you're simply not going to succeed. Punch to the face, too. Look at the muscles on this man. And his opponents, first, from Reno, Nevada, weighing in Here at 200 pounds. Here we go, all the way from Reno, Nevada, Adam he calls himself Townsend. The atmosphere inside Adam this arena Thornstow. for this one is absolutely insane, guys. And if you think this is insane, you know just wait until this thing kicks into definitely. high gear. You ain't seen nothing yet. Well, I think we can all agree that this will be no easy match He's for him here shows, tonight. Yeah, and, but you uh, can say that about I, uh, every match here did, on the card. Some, uh, There's no such case, thing as a cakewalk here uh, in the WWE. Let's see what I can do. But for right now, I've got a stacked roster, my friend. I apologize. Once I get these going, you know, maybe a couple pay-per-views in or whatever, I'm pretty sure I'll probably be replacing a few people. I'm sorry, guys. Nonetheless... He calls himself wrestling scum. Not understanding that, but nonetheless, Adam Thornstow. And here comes from another Calgary, great athlete, Alberta, Xander Moore. Weighing in at 232 Now, if I remember right, Xander pounds. Moore last week tried to Xander. qualify for the United States. A massive humanity in the ring right now as we get ready but, uh, for this in battle that royal. Match, Victor and this is Savage going to be one of those matches winner. where you hope the crew did so everything in their power to, to construct the ring as durably Xander as possible. Moore another Otherwise, opportunity you this might be in for a disaster. Had a chance to qualify for the global title, so. And let's we'll not forget about his opposition who also comes into tonight looking to prove a point. Oh, I should tonight. hope so, Cole. If you don't go into but every single match looking to make a statement, then you're out. just wasting everybody's I'm not sure time. What's going to be in, the, uh, in store for him in the future? Hopefully, something good. It definitely looks focused tonight, does Xander Moore. Here comes another great, amazing athlete here in XCW West, and that is the high-flying, charismatic and Ryan Wilde. from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 215 pounds, Ryan Wildcat. Plenty of drama surrounding this battle Can't royal here tonight. Ryan and with Wilde's so many top names competing in this battle royal, before. there's no telling who will walk away now, as Ryan the last has superstar standing. To win this match and go on to, to compete for the first ever XCW what about you, Byron? global title. He obviously looks at good Gold physically, Rush. but do you think he's mentally prepared for tonight's match? If he's not, we're going to find out very early on. Guys have a way of smelling intimidation and taking advantage of it. If your head's not at 100%, you're in big trouble. It's that simple. And if you guys do happen to hear the music or. An echo of the game in the background, please let me know so I can turn my TV down a little bit. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the superstars you're seeing right now. 
This is going to be one hell of a battle royal. Well, Blade Nation Gaming, I, I'm, I'm not sure, my friend. Like I said, right now, I'm, I'm pretty stacked. All 100 slots are full of um, XCW West uh, characters and content, either created by me or a few other people or some that I just randomly found on Creations. But um, like I've been telling everybody, if, if you want in the show, um, just leave me your hashtags in the comments. I will look you up. And if I have room, I'll add you guys. If uh, if I don't, then I'm and sorry. from Long Island, New York, just so weighing you guys know, though, this at is 198 pounds, show. This is the not Savior, Nick Hong. A big time battle TV royal here, guys. Who do you like in this one, like Byron? That. Well, historically, you're safest when you put your money on the biggest and superstar. And but to be yeah. honest, I'm not so, sure. I can see any one of these competitors walking away with a win. Um, hopefully you hit that like button or subscribe or turn on notifications. Or and the good news is that he appears to be coming into tonight with a little extra motivation. Me, yeah, he's really had a chip on his shoulder as of late, and it seems to have been helping him. Here comes Nick and Davino. Oh, thank you, Blade Nation. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. That means a lot, my friend. Thank you. I haven't been getting a lot of subscribers lately. I've been kind of bouncing between 135 and 141, so I appreciate it. Wow, we're up to five. Guys, I appreciate it. Thank you. This is just the first match, guys. We haven't even really had a lot of action yet. We've had a promo. This is it, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Here we go. Our big battle royal is underway. Look at the talent Six inside that ring, guys. Row, this royal. might just be Winner. the most exciting battle we'll royal we've seen in years. At Gold Rush. And you can't tell me this Portland Got crowd isn't fired up. Title. Just listen to them. So one of these men will move on to oh, the what impact. in two weeks. Who do you guys got your money slam on? put him in a bad way, guys. Let me know a wild the overhead punch wreaking havoc in here. Them, or if you happen to saw the entrances to get the names, let me know who you choose. Nice. Right now, Marcus Briggs taking it to Ryan Wild. Ryan Wild almost was eliminated right there. And underneath a the ropes over elbow there is Adam Thornstone. Neutralizes him with an elbow. Marcus Briggs is in trouble. And he looks helpless after that injury. Taking it to Xander Moore. Xander Moore rolls under the bottom rope. He's not looking like himself here. To be expected when you combine six of WWE's most volatile forces into right, one thank match. You, man. I appreciate it. I'm going to write that down. So I have it. The point of that elbow delivers. Strikes like that can end this one in a hurry. Wow. He just slammed him with ease. Okay, cool. I got it. Thanks, man. Take cover. You could call this a good old-fashioned butt Marcus whooping. Marcus in trouble again. Oh, Ryan God. Wild. That was hitting the nail right over the head. Over if he takes many more of those, Marcus, he's going to get I'm lit up like a Christmas tree. The big man There's the, the suplex. When his strikes land, you can feel it in the first few rows. Oh, Ryan Wild. Bottom of the chop. Oh, what a Much more chop damage to the head. Chest. And the rep may want to think Marcus about stopping this one. Time. In trouble in that corner over there. Xander That's starting to flounder some. To be expected when you combine six of WWE's most volatile forces into one match. Oh, this is certainly trending there. in the wrong direction for him, guys. He's going to have to get it together if he wants to win this battle royal. By Amir Ryan. Lights up his chest with a chop. Now, Nick Indovino in trouble. Amir trying to get him over the top rope. Indovino trying to hang on. Are we gonna have an elimination? No. Indovino stays in. Look at the Just strength brings of Xander him down with authority there. Taking it. That Adam strike hit a spot. There the There's no way he could have avoided that blow. Of wrestling you can't put a price tag on landing that perfect strike. Nice inverted and DDT. that nailed him. Oh, and he reverses it. Speaking of DDTs, there's another one by Nick Indovino over there. 
thing into Amir Ryan. No reverses it. Oh, and the strength of Adam Forster. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Well executed drop kick. Ladies and gentlemen, whoever qualifies for that global title match, all I have to say is hats off. When this guy's on, look out. He's sending a message I mean, to the entire shot WWE the locker room here. I'm not really here. sure if a battle well executed, world, close something I'd want to get into. You have to have eyes it's all around your head, not just in the front of the back. One, two, and three. These guys got to have their head the on the swivel. Exhaustion starting to set in for Punk. Point in he doesn't match. want to let this match get out of control, guys. Oh, and With already. so much mass in the ring yeah, at the same time, bodies have a way of getting wild. beaten and broken, and that's exactly what's happening blood, to him right now. You can learn about a guy in a match like this, and what I've learned so far here tonight is that there is absolutely no quit in him. Xander Moore over the top. Can he hang on? Marcus Nobody Griggs. controls the pace of a match boot. quite like this guy. Oh, and Xander Moore hangs on. A move like that is completely unnecessary. Unless you want to degrade your opposition, of course. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, Marcus Briggs made catches it. Pay there. And yes, it is confirmed. Ryan Wilde has been busted open by Nick Indovino. Just making his presence felt there. He and slams Marcus him down with authority. Fight, no idea it was going to turn bloody. Wild and there's the counter. Trying to get Nick over that top rope. And, and he gets him with the counter. The, the clothesline finds the mark. Briggs does not look to be in good shape here. This is clearly not the same competitor who started this match in such great shape. It looks to me like he's about to find himself on the arena floor, which is a little surprising to me. I think a lot of people look at him as one of the favorites to win this thing. He's a big trouble here. I don't think I remember ever seeing him this much off his game. No, he stays in. Oh, and there goes Nick into Vino. Let's take a look at that replay. Well, he got him. Let's look at this again. Wow, Amir Ryan just threw him over the top pro. Look at that. We are down to five. One of these men will move on. An incredible chop. Right to the stomach. Ryan, he misses Wild there. Over here the you just can't miss by that much, Cole. Left hand side of our screen. Getting his attention open. with a vicious strike. And he's under the bottom. He has him right where he over. wants him. Don't you he's dare get up, match. man. Xander Moore, that's not a Look good place to be. He's oh, going back to an old friend with that one. Ryan. Not where he wants to be right now. Yeah, you're not going to win many Ryan matches when you're down. The outside underneath the ropes there. Same with Adam Thornstow. He's not looking good here, Byron. No, he's got to get up, and he's got to get up now. Oh, and there goes Ryan Wild, Xander Moore with the elimination. There goes Marcus Briggs. Oh, he turns Play it around. General, that quick, we are down to three. Who do you think's going to win? We got Adam so Thorstow over here in the black, the ball-headed guy, Amir Ryan in the gray, and Xander Moore with the beard. Who do you guys got your money on to win this one? Let me know. I'm hoping Xander Moore Just gets it, but down with such power, right now it's guys. anybody's match. But Xander Moore does have two eliminations Xander may be match. cracking a bit here. He can't be happy Ryan with Wild how this is going Briggs. right now. He's absorbed a lot that of punishment quick. so far, guys, but... Getting him over the ropes into the arena floor will be no That's easy awesome. task. Ryan I can assure Marcus, you of that. He's show, incredibly man. proud of what he's been able to accomplish in his career, and, and rightfully so. But if he wants to pull away here, oh, he's going to have to mount a sustained offense soon. Trying to eliminate him. Ain't no stopping him now. Oh, and Xander Moore says, not today, son. Shot with the elbow right to the Got head. Got all that one. Oh, right, right to the his face. strikes have a little a extra chop. on them tonight. Oh, he got him with look the kick. Here. Look at this. Amir Ryan. He is a one-man oh, game in there. Out of nowhere. There's another chop. Amir Ryan now. Townsend looking absolutely worn out. I mean, it looks to me Adam like he's almost completely out. This battle Adam royal is rock. not going his way right now. Oh, but I wouldn't count him out just yet. He always seems to have a trick or two up his sleeve. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking yeah, right here. Down. And it's reversed. Look at this. Oh, no account. Oh, game of back and forth. Kind of firing and carrying. Oh, that was impressive. Oh, and a drop kick. Adam Thornstow oh. unleashing it for the Most second the time now. The ropes. Smart strategy, though, because if you go under the ropes, you are not eliminated. He oh, gets it with a reversal. Over the top row, both teeth. 
feet. Now that's striking with he's him touch point the floor. accuracy. And he just like that. Too many of those. Well, poor Xander Moore. He's lost two opportunities now at titles. Not a good way to start on your future here in XCW West. I, I hope he gets a shot. Here a sickening thud. And we are down to two. Amir Ryan and Adam Thornstow. He's not getting up. And you you can't like his chances right getting now. Getting this crowd hyped. And I'm sure as hell that this crowd is hyped. I mean, this is just our first no match. No question I can't about that this one. amazing action we have so far. He's pressing oh, all the right buttons down. Over the head suplex. Adam Thornstow in trouble. Amir Ryan going all the way up. Away. Now it heads to the top rope. What are we going to see here? Thornstow. He's close to being confused. done here. Oh, but he was able to avoid the drop kick. Thornstow suckered him Byron, in. He may be Thought down for good. Gazed. That wouldn't surprise me at all. Not after away. the beating he's taken. Top rope. And he missed the splash. A little bit of possum play, Missed I must say, here between these two. On that one. Wow. Oh, He's and just like that, that it's Adam Thornstow eliminated. The Amir Ryan qualifies and moves on to the global title in that TLC match at the pay-per-view. Let's take a look back at some of the action we saw in this battle royal. Here Apparently is your winner, Amir Ryan. Big win despite absorbing Amir a huge Ryan amount of punishment there. Your winner, I tell you, I don't think the average viewer at home truly understands exactly he how much go endurance goes a into winning a match of this nature. I think I can safely episode, speak for all of us when I of say of that was an amazing contest. Whoever wins that match will take on Amir Ryan at the pay-per-view Gold Rush for the global title in a TLC match. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting really close to determine the card for Gold Rush. What a victory to kick us off here in XCW West. Don't move. We have a great match coming up next. We have one of our breakout talents I'll see what I can do, versus my a formidable opponent. Um, oh, we are going I anywhere. I can't make any promises, though, okay? So, just, just wanted to let you know that. All right, ladies and gentlemen... Um, this match here, whoever wins this one will take on Victor Savage for the United States title at Gold Rush. So will it be Leon Blackgrave or Nikki Sutton? You guys decide who do you think should get that match against Victor Savage. Do you think Nikki will get it or do you think Leon Blackgrave? I unfortunately am not going to say who I would like to win because I don't want to really play favorites, but if I really had to lean towards anybody at this moment, I would have to give the advantage to Leon Blackgrave. I haven't seen much off card with, uh, or I mean live, with Nikki Sutton. This is the first time any of these two have actually been on the XCW West show. Now on house shows, these two have been on, and I've seen some amazing things, but uh... How will they do under pressure of a live audience? We're going to find out. Leon Blackgrave versus Nikki Sutton right now on XCW Wrestling. All right, man. It's a good choice. Let's see how he does. This is his first ever televised episode. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California. Weighing in at 240 pounds, the Viking, Leon Black Graves. Two of WWE's top stars ready to go here Leon in one-on-one -on -one action. This is the match I've been waiting for, guys. Ever since it was this announced, man. I've been looking forward to seeing these two Has some evil clash. thoughts on his mind. As he takes on Nikki Sutton here tonight. Well, he definitely looks ready for what's ahead he of him here tonight, to that's for sure. I agree with that, Michael. In fact, Victor I don't Savage remember the last the time I United saw him in States better shape than he's in right now. The pay-per-view gold rush where every single title here in XCW West will be on the line, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the eyes of Leon Blackgrave. That man looks focused and ready to go here tonight.
Can he get past Nikki Sutton here tonight and move on? Every competitor so far here in XCW West, I'm pretty sure, is definitely hungry and ready for a title opportunity. And that should be your goal. I mean, if you're a professional wrestler here in XCW West, you definitely should want a shot at a title. And we know this man definitely wants a title shot. And that is the young Nikki Sutton. And his this opponent kid is only 21 from years Chelsea, old. England, weighing in at 205 Nikki Sutton pounds, looking the to do savage big things Nick and shock the world Sutton. here tonight. One-on-one -on -one action coming up here, guys, and I'm willing to bet action. this will be one we won't soon forget. Totally agree, Michael. To when Nikki you have Sutton, two superstars as hungry match, as these said, two you know competing in the ring, I'm honored you can that bet it'll be memorable. To give me this opportunity. My biggest fear, though, is I've never guys. I'd say these superstars look more than ready I'm to get this match started. This I'd agree with that, Cole. And it sounds like this arena is right there with them. They are absolutely electric. I need to stay focused so that way I can get past Leon Blackgrave and move on to the pay per view of Gold Rush. And if I can do that, and if I can defeat Victor Savage, this is great to see. Tremendous sportsmanship, mutual that's respect for each like other. To see, gentlemen. That is true. There's the bell, and here we go. We're all for the ride kind of on guy, this one. But make no mistake about it. We're going to have this out of the box. That was nowhere Ooh, near a three count. Sutton. That's either Catch sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. Yes. That's a brutal way to have to land on the canvas. He is fired up and ready to go. Black Grave catches him. It's got to oh, be hard to rebound from that here. one. What's your take on Graves tonight? What kind of attack, what kind of kind tactics of are going to help him here tonight? This crowd is absolutely electric right now, yeah, and I can't blame him. This Double is going to be a great one. Suplex. I agree, and I think this is one of those matchups that Sutton could be one of the, the greats. Trying to get his wherewithal in this one. Nikki. Got to stay on the strategy, though. Oh, but Black Grave catches him. Now Blackburn raining down those punches. Face first to the mat goes Nikki Sutton. Boot to the gut. What are we going to see here? Lifts him up. We're going to see the and last Sutton ride. Sutton may be in a bad bomb. way here. With these two guys, we all what knew this was going to be an power bomb from Leon Blackburn. Battle. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just Nikki a little be bump in, in the road for him here. Match. Nothing to worry about. I know it's early, but if things Nikki's stayed the way they now. are, oh, winning this match might just be a time. pipe dream for him. Sutton able to escape. Oh, nice jawbreaker there. Blackgate Brave able to escape that one. Irish whip into the ropes. Oh, Nikki catches him from behind. Slam nice down with authority. Drop. And he comes Ooh, crashing down. Uh, going to the top. On. High risk. Doesn't want to give the advantage and let Nikki He knows he's in trouble. Back up. He'd be smart to stay put there. We'll Look here. out! Oh, Graves not nice. looking so great right now. Into the pin I fully attempt. expect one. him to bounce back, though. Two. This is the oh, type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. You're not going to win many matches that easily. What Very nice. That would have been. And the uppercut lands. Nice uppercut there. Oh man, what a hit. Oh. Knocked right off the apron. Takes him down. What are we going to see here? He's in trouble. Sutton, what's he thinking? Black Ray See if he outside. takes the Nikki bait. On the apron. And Spring there's a board splash. Quite NASA. NASA. We have touched Black Ray. The high flying Nikki Sutton taking it to Leon Black Ray. It's safe oh, to say he underwent special training to put on this kind of aerial display. Referee. Administering the 10 count. These two got to get back in. Oh, and oh, he reverses it. Oh. Now in control. Four. Referee at a count of five. He wants no part of the outside. Uh-oh. 
Plus Leon drops the leg right across the throat of Nikki Sutton. He doesn't appear to be in a hurry to get up here. Uh -oh, I just don't Nikki think he has trouble. it in him anymore. Leon, what's he thinking here? Spear! Leon Blackburn no with the doubt spear. about that one. Just totally. He's not looking right good here, Byron. Nikki Sutton. No, he's got to get up. That and he goes to the it. pin. One, two, two. No, one and a half. Nikki Sutton. The resiliency of this young, high-flying 21-year-old. Oh, God. That was hitting the nail right on the head. If he takes many more of those, he's going to get lit up like a Christmas tree. Sutton what do we got here? Alive. Graves is oh. starting to tire a oh, bit. I'm not Black sure Ray. how much more he Looks has like to give. The amount of punishment he's absorbed in this match is absolutely insane. Drop kick! There Mark it is! Look at it. Kick. There the he catches him with a this one's right over. The that could be it, guys. This has been a great match. High flying action, devastating moves. Look at the oh, strength of that power nice bomb. Power bomb. Rope break there, though. Still trying to get back to his feet here. Blackberry. He's clearly in a bad way right now. Nikki thinking here, Nikki Sutton. Oh, that was a Bam. hard shot. What a this strike. The back of the head off the kick. Nikki Sutton firing up this crowd for the kid. Oh, and he's still down, Byron. Things yeah, definitely aren't looking very good him. for him right now. Yeah, that could have cost him there if he would have took any longer. He needs to stay focused if he wants to get past somebody like Leon Blackgrave. There you see Leon. Not the today. Reversal, nice suplex. Irish whip into the ropes goes Sutton. Oh, no. Nobody oh, takes to the sky. And the pop-up right Superman him. punch. Ladies he and gentlemen, that can be it. Here. One, two, two. No! Nikki Sutton able to escape. And Leon Blackgrave can't believe it. And this audience here. These live superstars in Portland, wearing the wounds right now. One of what has been hell of a qualifying match. Really match up. These two studs. He's, he's lining him up. Ray. He's calling for something He's almost here. got him. Nikki Sutton in trouble. The spring oh, man, what a hit. Knocked oh, he right didn't connect the all with it. I don't think that's the And Byron, he's still landed, down after that one. Yeah, that did some did big some time damage. damage, Michael. Can he score the pen? the pen? Attempt. Look at this. Referee doesn't see it. Feet are on the ropes. And There's Leon Blackgrave steals it, ladies and gentlemen. Leon Blackgrave moves on and will take on Victor Savage for the United States title. Gold Rush. And ladies and gentlemen, what an amazing match. A little sad about the ending, I must admit, but Leon Blackgrave nonetheless had to cheat. Referee didn't see it. He had his feet on the bottom ropes. Costing Nikki Sutton the victory. But look at this. Oh, boot to the face. I thought Nikki Sutton had it there. And then this right here. Look at this devastating. Bam! Right to the head. Nikki Sutton was out. Here's another angle of it. Bam! Right there. You saw the face of Nikki Sutton as he hit the mat. That kid was out. Dazed and confused, seeing stars. And how in the hell, Nikki Sutton? Look at this. Oh, a two and a half was able to get the shoulder up. Here is your winner, the Viking Leon Black Graves. You're looking at the winner. winner this Leon one Black on one match. Moves on. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance the over another. Time we see Leon Thank you for tuning in tonight, folks. We hope you enjoyed that great match. We will meet Victor Savage to determine the first ever United States champion. What a match. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying the show as much as I am. We're going to move on now. And it looks like we're going to hear from Chris Danger. Now we know that he's had some issues with a certain superstar here in XCW West. And that being one member of the Outlaws, Austin Blaze. Not exactly sure why Chris Danger requested this uh, opportunity to come out and speak to us here. But uh, 
nonetheless, management said, hey, you're a top superstar and a top talent. Why not? We want to hear what you got to say. So, Chris, well, we're going to hear what he has to say next here on XCW West. Stay tuned. More action coming your way after this. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not, I know Blade Nation that you're probably still here and I appreciate that. Thank you. But who's my other one? Please, leave a comment, say hi. I'll say hi back. Looks like he's Please going to grace out. us with his presence once more. He's back a man action, on a mission. Here comes he's not gonna keep us waiting, so let's find out. Chris Danger. Who made his shocking debut in our first episode of XCW West. We had no idea that he was signed to an XCW contract. But apparently he was, and he's here. And off the bat, he chose to, to pick on Austin Blaze. Now, normally I come out here and uh, I enjoy being in front of you fans. But tonight, tonight's not about that. Tonight, I'm here to issue a challenge one individual who thought upon me debuting could beat me well you know what I come from a long dynasty and everybody knows that I mean heck I have my own YouTube show wink wink breaking the fake the fourth wall there on that one if you guys don't know what I'm talking about but nonetheless Austin Blaze get your ass out here because you know what you and me have some unfinished business, and I want to settle it here, right now. Well, Chris Danger calling out Austin Blaze, and Austin Blaze not going to let him wait anymore. The egotistical outlaw is here. Look at that sadistic smile, that cockiness from Austin Blaze. And Chris Danger, though. Something tells me we might hear from him. Story. Can't wait for he this one. Focus, ready I'm sure to go. the WWE Universe is dying to know like what's going Austin on. Blaze interrupted his debut here in XCW West. And <laughs> look at this. Austin trying to hush this crowd saying, Hey, I got something for you, Chris. And there you see it. Austin Blaze trying to not let these fans get under his skin. No love between Listen, these Danger. superstars, that's for sure. You're a great superstar. I get that. But you're nothing like this outlaw. So you've done great things all over the world. All over this planet. But you know what? You ain't done nothing until you've beaten somebody from the caliber of me. So how about it? Okay. Oh, Austin. You think you're so special. But you know what? Your ego is so overinflated. I mean, come on, man. I beat your brother Brandon before in another promotion. What was it called? Oh, yeah, that's right. Brother NXT. Yeah, but you're forgetting something, Chris. I was there, too. And I dominated a lot of superstars. I dominated you. I dominated Captain Pepsi. Hell, I even took on my own flesh and blood, Brandon Blaze. But you know what? The one superstar who I never got my hands on was you, Chris. Yeah, that's true, Austin, and you want to know why? Because you're not good enough. You let your ego do the talking instead of you doing the walking. So you know what? How about this? At the Gold Rush pay-per-view, how about you and me one-on-one? -on -one? Oh, now see, that, that sounds fine to me. I love that idea. And actually, Chris, you know what I like even more about it? Is it's going to be you and me. In an extreme rules falls count anywhere match. It Definitely doesn't matter what type of match it is, Austin, because you know what? I'm coming for you. You've wanted this. 
you, you made me do this. I came here to prove why I'm the best, but you, you're getting in my way. We'll have to pay per view at Gold Rush. There ain't nowhere for you to run, buddy. Oh, and Austin has had enough of Chris Danger. Microphone right to the side of the head. Austin Blaze. Oh, how's it going, Brian? Doing pretty good. Austin Blaze taking it to Chris Danger. Danger and Blaze. This match, from what I'm gathering in my headset here. Yes? Okay. Yep. I'll let him know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it has been signed. It is official. If you ask me, Austin the officials Blaze need to be a little more lenient with the rules when it comes Gold to big Rush matches like this. False Count Anywhere Extreme Rules match. These two will battle it out head to head. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Gold Rush is turning into one hell of a pay per view. We've already got two title matches determined, plus this. Ladies and gentlemen, what's next? We have a great match coming up next. Well, I can we tell you what's next for tonight, that's this match right here. A formidable These opponent. two absolutely Who will do not reign like supreme. each other. Colt Murphy and Brody King at one time were very, very good friends growing up. But uh, apparently something happened. They had a falling out. They both got into wrestling, went their separate ways, but tonight, they once again will battle it out like they have for the last couple of weeks here in XCW West. Colt Murphy, Brody King, one-on-one -on -one next on XCW West. Stay tuned. How's it going, Brian Double, Blade Nation? Man, wow, I just realized there's five of you guys here now. Well, hello to everybody out there. Hopefully you all say hi back. Hopefully you all enjoy the show. If you have not watched the first two episodes of XCW uh, West, I uh, I hope you guys go back and watch those. Because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stay on storyline here and, uh, and get some stuff done. When did I get a PS4? Well, actually about, about a month ago. Yeah, about a month ago. Hey, Shane. All right, man. You haven't missed too much. Um, before this match, we saw Chris Danger come out. We called out Austin Blaze. And uh, and then before that, we uh, we saw Leon Blackgrave take on Nikki Sutton. Leon Blackgrave will now move on to the pay-per-view and take on Victor Savage for the United States title. Um... And then we saw, uh, who was it? I feel like an idiot. Oh, Amir Ryan qualified for the global title Making his way match to the ring at, uh, at the from Amarillo, so, Texas. I haven't missed a whole lot, guys. Weighing in at 278 pounds, Outlaw Yes. One-on-one -on -one action coming said, up here, guys, and I'm willing to bet in the this will be one show. we won't so, soon forget. Totally agree, Michael. When you have two superstars as hungry as these two competing in the ring, north? you can bet it'll be memorable. Yeah, I want to say it's in North. I could be wrong. I've been trying to keep up with and all I'd the XCWs. And i also like to add that this match will go a long way in determining the pecking order here in WWE. Yeah, and he's hoping his stock continues to rise. A loss here, though, would certainly crush those hopes. Colt Murphy and Brodus King, like I was saying before the match, had a falling out after high school. They both got into wrestling school. They were a tag team for a little bit. Egos kind of obviously came into play here, and now uh, Colt Murphy and Brodus King are going to go one-on-one. -on -one. This rivalry's been heating up pretty good here in XCW West. Brian, well, I appreciate it if you are two of them. I appreciate you watching on your Xbox and being on your phone, man. I appreciate that, man. I really do. 
Oh, sweet, man. So you went live on YouTube? That's cool, man. Yeah, it took me a while to get brave to start doing uh, live stuff like this. This is the the third show I've done live, so... And all my PS4 shows now will be live, so... I kind of like it, though. It gives me more fan interaction, and, and I kind of like that. Granted, I always don't do what the fans want, and I understand that, but hey, you know, it's my show, it's my rule, and so be it. You know? If you don't like it, I'm sorry. If you do, And cool, his thanks. opponent... From Nonetheless, California, here comes Brody King. Sorry, I said Brody. My bad. Pounds. It's Brody, Brody King. King. The atmosphere inside this arena for this one is absolutely insane, guys. And if you think this is insane, right, Shane, just wait well, until this thing kicks into high you, gear. You ain't seen nothing you yet. You subscribed to me, which I'm pretty sure you are. Um... This is without a doubt a big time match for him, guys. I don't think he can afford to come up short in this one. I'd say that statement is more true now than ever before. That's how heated the competition here in WWE is right now. Which I'm pretty sure I do. I will I'll go back and double check it though. Got Colt Murphy a superstar gets Brody a certain King. feeling when he knows there's a strong possibility he may exit the match in a completely different one condition than he entered. That's not exactly a comforting thought and, when and it's I'm your career. Word. And I can't help but get the feeling that this is going to be Imagine one of those me. matches people will be talking about for a long Should time to come. And you can't tell me this Portland really? crowd isn't fired up. Just listen to oh, him. Okay, well, the fans are going to love this. Uh-huh. Okay. What's your analysis of Got King? It. All right, For those so who are unfamiliar with him, what can they anticipate out of him here? Is a Michael, he can beat any superstar on this so roster on any given earlier, night, and I don't see why tonight is any title. different. Well, only way to rise Match to the top of the WWE Universe is to win like consistently, and we'll that's what he's looking to do here. So the winner of this will take on Amir Ryan in a TLC match for the global title at Gold Rush. Wow, shocking news. So, uh, and these guys don't even know it, so... It's going to be a shocker to them as well. Um, we had no way of finding this out until a few minutes ago. So, who do you guys think will win? I mean, on that note, we got, you know, like, like I said, we got Colt Murphy and Brody King. One of these two will qualify and move on to take on Amir Ryan for the global title at uh, Gold Rush. So, wow, big news coming from management. Like I say, He's you calling know, for it. Shocking he doesn't look too eager to get US, up, and I don't blame hey, him. Hey, you know, that's what happens when Did you see how much air he got on that? Says, hey, we're going to do this. We're going to do it now. You know, I'm just the messenger boy, so just the commentator. And right now, Colt Murphy, devastating backbreakers here. And wisely, Brody King goes to the outside. Now back in, Irish Whip goes Colt Murphy off the ropes, catches him and slams him down with a sidewalk slam. Brody King now, what's he got planned? Colt Murphy in trouble. There's nice the suplex. suplex. Murphy, Iron not where he wants to be right now. With King. these two guys, we all knew now, this was going to be an all-out battle. Got I wouldn't call for the medic just yet, the Cole. Ring. He still Cole appears Murphy to be in pretty be good in shape here. Early. Can he hang on? Able to roll over. Uses the elbow. Whoa, he he oh, works he his way skates. out. A bit of a Houdini job but right yes, there. The, you have to believe the damage has definitely been done to Cole Murphy's shoulders and arms. Made him pay there. Brody King. Oh, like this is running exactly how a competitor takes control of the match. Now getting fired up. Here comes Brody King. Holt Murphy. Oh, and sucker it's reversed. Him over the top rope. Toss to the outside. Goes Brody King. Looks like now, King's starting to fade a little bit. But he's very he aware of who he's in there is. with and what he has to do Cole to rebound. Murphy. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. And remember, like I just said a few minutes ago, the winner of this match, we just found out from management, will go on to take on Amir Ryan for the global title. That was a Missed shocking Missed by a large hit. margin on that one. I'm also wow. wondering he's what's going to happen, though, if these men get counted out. 
Oh, close to getting a count out here. Nah, there this is, is just some strategic smash. gamesmanship. This guy can go toe to toe with anybody. These two obviously don't care, but here comes Colton Murphy. Back between the ropes. Here's a referee, a count of eight. Count of nine now. Brody King in trouble. And that's oh, it, I ladies like and gentlemen. Like your this. winner by count out, Colt Murphy. Wow. Colt Murphy will take on Amir Ryan for the global title in a TLC match at the Gold Rush pay-per-view was not expecting this outcome tonight, let alone the stipulation put on the match. Here is your winner. Congratulations, Colt, Colt Murphy. And if I was that referee, I'd get the hell out of the ring. Victory here tonight. And it doesn't this sound like the fans are too thrilled with the decision here. What to do. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win. Congratulations to Colt Murphy on qualifying for a global title shot. Coming up is a format that personifies the concept of oh, every here we go, man for himself. All right, so let's get this party started. This here, <laughs> this this is an interesting match. So eight men enter, but all eight of these men are one half of a tag team or a faction. So they're representing their um, respected tag teams or faction. And the winner will go on and face the winner of another eight-man match, just like this, next week. And the winner of that match will take on the winner of this... Or, sorry. The team that is represented by the winner of this will take on the team that is represented of the winner of the match next week. Those two teams will battle it out in a elimination tables... Tag Team Tornado Tables match at the Gold Rush pay-per-view to determine the first ever... XCW West Tag Team Champions. Now, hopefully, everybody understood what that what I was just saying there. I know it's a little bit of a tongue twister, a little bit confusing, but on paper it makes sense. So, each one of these men represents a faction or a tag team. So, I'm going to try to go through this the best I can and let you know exactly what's going on here. So as they come out in their entrances, I'll let you know who they represent, and yeah. Hopefully you guys are excited. This is going to be good, and over the top rope battle royal, eight man can determine one half of the tag team championship match. <laughs> Weighing in at 245 pounds, Aiden Wolf. This is great, guys. This battle royal promises to be amazing. And let's not forget that simply going over the top rope is yeah, not enough to get eliminated. Both feet must touch the yet. arena floor in order for but your I'm night to sure end. Aiden Wolf can pull off this victory. Him and his partner. Tyler Tell me, Corey, do you like his chances here tonight? Well, it's hard to beat a person who never gives up. To, uh, and I can tell sure you that he has absolutely no quit in him. So, yes. Yes, I do and, like his uh, chances. And qualify to move on for that tag team tables match for the titles. you see all the eight of these guys come out I really hope that you guys let me know who you think was going to win I honestly can't put my money on any of these guys because they're they're all great singles competitors and tag team competitors so it's really hard for me to choose and up next representing the Boneyard is Ace. 
Ace, and along with Houston, Darius Texas, Chains and their leader T Bone, making up pounds, the faction known as the Boneyard. Ace Jackson. This will be a sight to be seen, guys, as these superstars all compete for the same goal here in this battle royal. But only one can walk away the winner Boneyard of this match, Michael. And at this point, I can make a legitimate case for any one of these superstars. Ace. Looking to represent his and Byron, faction. I would say these guys look more than ready to start this match. So is this crowd, Michael, and justifiably so. This Hopefully everybody can hear me well. And here from comes Philadelphia, Scott Topic, Pennsylvania, representing Wolf Lair. At I haven't pounds. seen Wolf Lair Scott in any matches Topic. just yet. A huge opportunity here tonight for one of these superstars of to prove their faction. dominance against a whole host Scott of others. Topic, yeah, and whoever ends up winning this battle royal will have certainly East. earned it. I mean, or some of me, WWE's XCW biggest North names are in this match. Scott Topping has been doing pretty great as a singles competitor. And a win here would go a long way in proving he's as good he's as he says SCD he is. West. Sounds like you're doubting him, Cole. Let me Hoping tell you something. You never want to doubt this guy. To Trust his me. teammates, that, hey, if I win this, we get a shot at tag team gold here in XCW West. So Scott Topping looking to represent Wolf Lair. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I understand we have Wolf Lair and Wolf Pack. If those two teams ever meet, I'm pretty sure some pretty heavy stuff's gonna go down. Fans are excited. They love the idea of this one. Tag teams becoming singles competitors to represent their team or faction. This is pretty interesting stuff. And here comes the leader of the Surplus Marines, Devil Dog, Bret Hartford. And from Concord, New Hampshire, weighing in at Devil 230 Dog. pounds, looks focused and fired Brett up here tonight. To a big time battle royal here, guys. Marines, Who do you like in this one, Byron? Jason well, historically, and Eddie you're safest Gonzalez. when you put your money on the biggest superstar. But to be honest, I'm not sure. I can see any one of these competitors these walking away with a win. Great in such promotions as Forged in Pain and XCW. From where I sit, he certainly South. seems more focused than perhaps I've ever seen him. He's got one Since tall task ahead of him here. That's for West, sure. They've done pretty good, whether it be singles or tag team. So this is a great opportunity for the surplus Marines. Devil Dog. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Can it be? It is representing D Day. It's the big man, Brodal. Or excuse me, my bad. And dangerous from War. Reykjavik, Iceland. I'm sorry. Weighing in at 352 pounds. Ladies and pounds, gentlemen, Dangerous War. Dangerous the big war. heavy muscle man. As we get started here, let me remind everybody that the only way to get eliminated from this battle royal is to get thrown over the top rope and have both feet touch the arena floor. And not only does it take a tremendous amount of skill to be successful in a battle royal, but there's also a good deal of luck that goes into it as well. Dangerous War gets his hands on Devil Dog. Some heavy stuff stuff and remember, be when he gets on a roll, he's nearly impossible to stop. They're you are be absolutely right, Cole. So I would expect to see his opposition do everything possible Dangerous to prevent one. momentum Heck from swinging too much to his side. Gun. And that scar on his right eye tells a story. This man will do whatever it takes to win and pick up a victory. 
I have to believe that this man is definitely odds on the fan favorite here tonight. I mean, the cheer size and mass of this man and that evil look right there is definitely not a man I'd want to mess with here tonight if I'm the other seven competitors. Oh, speaking of big and nasty, here comes the other half of the man, or of the team. And from Bucharest, known as Romania, Stone and Savage, Nick and Savage qualified pounds. for the United States title, but now Raiden it looks like Raiden Stone, Stone Guys, you have to think that this battle will be won for the ages. Match, Two words may never have been spoken, case, Michael. And this Raiden battle Stone royal has match, all the elements of an instant a classic. Victor Savage will have two title matches to worry about come the Gold Rush paper. Well, he definitely looks fired up for this one, wouldn't you say, Stone. Corey? Yeah, he's definitely ready to get this, this one underway, Cole. He's man. not the only one. Would you listen to this crowd? Wow. We've seen him a little bit in XCW North. Now home here in XCW West and ready to lay a beat down to any competitor who gets in his way. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, if Raiden Stone and Dangerous War meet face to face, I have to say that that's like two Mack trucks meeting in the middle of the ring. Who is going to eliminate who? Raiden Stone without that mask. Up next, it looks like we're going to see one half of Madness. One of the brothers is going to be represented here tonight. And, and there it the is, Dinkum. Weighing Ladies in and gentlemen, his brother Binkum, Binkum and Dinkum, collectively known as the Madness. It sounds to me like this crowd is ready to get this battle here tonight royal by underway. Dinkum. And so are these superstars, Michael. Each oh, and every one of them have a the golden Impact opportunity to prove it. their dominance. Hey, I'm doing pretty nice. I don't think I remember the last hard. time he looked doing this motivated, good, guys. That's Thank a you. scary thought, Cole. Even before tonight, I'm I don't think I've seen too many superstars more motivated one than him. More if I have time, and that'll probably be it for me for tonight. That way I can start working on the uh, arena for my pay-per-view, which will be coming up soon. So, just trying to get through some of these qualifying matches for the championships. Other than that, I'm doing pretty good, man. How about you? And as you can see, Dinkum having a love for clowns. And there you see on the back of his shirt, obviously uh, loves it. No pun intended, but definitely uh, has no fear of clowns, does Binkum and Dinkum. They dress like them. wonder if they're fans of the Insane Clown Posse. <laughs> oh, so you're Impact X-17. All right, cool. Well, thanks, DJ. I appreciate the follow. Hopefully, you subscribe to the channel too if you haven't already. And enjoy. XCW West continues here. We got one more competitor to enter this battle royal. Representing Havoc. My version of Havoc, not the other XCW's Havocs. So I understand they have one too, so I'm not to be confused. The reason why this is Havoc is because obviously his last name.
here comes Jimmy Havoc. And their opponent from England. Has to be the underdog in this match. He's definitely the smallest Jimmy competitor Hardcore. in this battle royal. A massive humanity in the ring right now as we get ready for this battle royal. And this is going to be one of those I'll matches where you join. hope the crew did everything in their you power to construct the a ring as durably right as possible. Him, Otherwise, you might be in for that. a disaster. A lot of people want to join this. And that's good. I, I mean, I appreciate it. And on top it, of that, this match will undoubtedly have a big impact the on guys, where I, these I guys stand in the next WWE.com power rankings. Own, and there's been and so I mean, much upward friends, movement from new faces over the past the few weeks that universe, dropping more than 10 spots I following the loss some of them isn't well, necessarily so out of the question. I focused on my own talents and show my own characters and a few others that I thought were really cool on creations. Okay, cool. Well, it, you're one of the few that didn't complain about it, so I, that's pretty good. I appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoy, though, man. I got some great characters. At least they're, uh, you know. All right, here we go. Eight man over the top rope battle royal. And this is one of those matches Each where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Their respective well, actually, team or faction. hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Look at this. Looks it's like Ace is in trouble. Involved, guys. Oh. It certainly Fred appears Hartford Portland is ready for them to get it on. The top Just making his presence already. felt there. Oh, what impact. Dinkum taking it to Jimmy Havoc. We got, he's simply we're reminding him here. that he's here. here. What has to be going through the mind of Jackson right now? Big man over there. Those who aren't familiar with him, what can they anticipate match. out of him here? Every stone. single time two superstars oh, stop in the ring, in trouble it with seems like fireworks there. always Scott follow. Topic, and this guy, he's capable of lighting fuses with the best of them. Here in the early going, Ace, he's got a spring in his step dog. and some fire in his eyes. We'll see if that translates to a victory. Dog, you can't put a lie. price tag on landing that perfect strike. And that man. Havoc and Dinkum going at it. Jackson's starting to stammer some. He's going to have to cut off his opponent's offense quickly. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to right pick a right. winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. Write that down. I'll take a look. And now he goes for it a second Thanks, time. DJ. Appreciate it. There's the suplex. Uh, He's starting to stumble here. You know. I don't think he expected to be Obviously in this I position here. Now, this is one of those pivotal points in the match where some superstars fall to the pressure. Right, back to but the I action. wouldn't expect that from him. His perseverance will likely push him through right. here. Oh, yep. Somebody was. I'm trying to remember who that was. <laughs> Oh, that's right. It was, uh, I think it was Aiden Wolf. If and he suffers much more, he may lose first. all mobility in that shoulder. Oh, so, Looks like he's starting to sweat gone. now. But we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seven. seeing here. This one could very easily go either way at this point, guys. But win or lose, no problem, he's Thank the you. type of guy that will be proud of his performance regardless. To Just toying with the competition a little. You never know. I might have to... He's in a little bit of trouble now. He doesn't want to let this match get out of control, guys. Guys, I'm more than a little shocked by his performance here tonight. A guy like him, given how much pride he has, usually puts up more of a fight. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Dinkum trying to take it to Dangerous War, and Dangerous War can be in trouble. Trying to get the big man over the top rope. What an upset that would be. And he gets him with a counter. Jackson getting assaulted here. Oh, this might be the beginning, beginning of the end for him. Oh, man, his family has Ooh, to be concerned that. about him right now. Nice, nice, nice job nice. getting out of the way of that one. No reverses it. Quick thinking to avoid that one. Oh, Scott Toffin in trouble. He's a one man gang in there. The devil dog. He's on his heels. This match is definitely testing his metal, guys. Guys, this is where perseverance likely kicks in. It's been a pretty evenly fought match up to this point. But don't be surprised if that changes real soon. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Wow. Stone is talking about like yesterday's trash. Says, sorry, little man. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. Jump the suplex. Belly to back. One of these men will go on and 
Look out, there's the elbow oh, drop. With their respective teammate. He misses there. A chance at the you just can't title. miss by that much, Cole. Huge move right I there. I cannot wait for that pay-per-view, ladies and gentlemen. Gold Rush. Every title will be up for grabs because right now, we don't have a champion for anything. We'll have six titles on the line. Global, United States, Intercontinental, oh boy, Women's, Tag Team, and World will all be on the line. And we're Three back of to this form of attack. already been determined what the matches will be. Nope, that one misses. Boy, that was terrible. I'll talk more about that. Oh, he's one step right ahead now. on that one. Oh! Ace is gone. The Boneyard. The point of that elbow delivers. Won't be represented. He kicks him At right in the not gut. tonight. They still have another opportunity next week as the other half uh -oh. the of that team will be slam. in the battle royal just is like it this. enough to end it? So yes, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this, their Here respective tag team partner will not have to compete next week. He might week. have it. But if you lose, you still you have another tag team over. opportunity. He's back in control your partner here. will have a chance to earn you a shot. And wow, Scott Topic is gone. Look at the strength of Well, Dinkle. he got him. Look at this. Let's look at this, this again. Power bomb, Scott Topic, with authority over the top rope. Scott Topic could be hurt. And with that, we're down to four. Nope, down to three. No, Raven Stone reversal. is gone. He's not expecting Pays that. that one. Surplus Marines represented. He's down for Madness. the count following that Samoan drop. One of these three teams will move on to compete for the tag titles. And a savage Oh, a double line. dog eliminates Dinkum. Oh, 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 these two. This is very interesting. Like I said, these these two uh, men. If this superstar can just land the finisher here. This match is all over. Couple of weeks. So this is an interesting concept to see. Devil Dog and Dangerous War to be the last two represented here in this match. A lot of people Very are questioning how, how this superstar fate, uh, got such a favorable spot two, in this week's power rankings. But not to me. Oh, Seems and Devil perfectly Dog logical. With Few superstars are as dominant War. as this guy. Now drags him to the center of the ring. Shh, tries to hush the crowd. Oh, oh that what one a hurt. swing and neck breaker by Devil Dog. Hard for now. Oh, and it's a reversal. He's yeah, at this point in time, I, I agree with you, man. Double dog on a roll tonight. Two eliminations. Wow. And Byron, he's still down after that one. Don't count yeah, Daniel. It's a big man. time I mean, damage, that's a Michael. Big son of a gun. Obviously, look at this. Picks him up. Just showing absolutely no pity now, guys. Counters man, that so one. And scary. The referee tried to tell him to take off the chain before he got in the match, but uh. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. That's like telling Double Dog to take off his chest plate. It just ain't gonna happen. These Thank guys are spending your money night with on. us after seeing what we have. Oh my I'm God! Sure just tossed it like a. <laughs> wow. I'm speechless. The strength of Dangerous War. There may be no yeah, stopping him. 1916. Him up. Oh, it's starting to look bleak him for him now. I wouldn't be surprised if he just passes out right here. Oh man, he has plenty he of reason to be concerned here, guys. But you know what? Okay. So does his opposition. This is about as close as it gets. Uh oh. Well, that's it. The there's your winner. This one's over. Dangerous war. Devil Dog not going to be happy about this. But remember. Surplus Marines still have a chance to move on and earn a shot as Eddie Gonzalez or Jason will be entered in the match next week. But it looks like D-Day, uh, represented tonight here by Dangerous War, will move on and earn an opportunity to earn the tag titles at the pay-per-view Gold Rush. Congratulations to D-Day and Dangerous War. Here is your winner, Dangerous. You guys are definitely moving four. on. Wow, what All an amazing right, so we have performance one half we saw match here set in this go. elimination match. To be the last one standing after such a grueling encounter is beyond amazing, Michael. No, I'm sorry, DJ. Thank Toil. you for tuning in tonight, folks. We you, hope you, you had enjoyed a good that choice. Great I must match. say, I mean, he had two eliminations, but just couldn't match up to the strength and power of Dangerous War.
All right. We are going to move on. Wow, we've had some great Coming right up is a today. match that can change the oh, course of an go, individual's career. All right. So this, this is going to be an interesting match here. This is a ladder match. Winner gets a contract to compete in the World Heavyweight title match at Gold Rush. So, from left to right, we have my creation, Brandon Blaze. We have Rock Leonidas' creation from XCW South, and that is Angelo Owens. We have a newcomer, Nick Walker. Oh, thank you, man. Definitely a five-star match. And the one and only Love, James Love. So, ladies and gentlemen, Brandon Blaze, Angelo Owens, Nick Walker, and James Love. Ladder match winner will go on to compete for the world title in two weeks' time at Gold Rush. Who do you got your money on in this ladder match? I know who I'm rooting for, but I have to be a little biased. I mean, he is my creation, so I choose Brandon Blaze. Now, I could be wrong, and one of the other three could win, but uh, I'm kind of hoping Blaze gets it, but, you know. Hey, it's any man's ball game in a ladder match. So, can't win them all, but we'll see. Nonetheless, ladder match action coming your way next, live on XCW West. Oh, so you're going for this guy then. Alright. Not a bad choice. He's pretty good. I've seen him do some pretty good matches and stuff in uh, XCW South. So, Not a bad choice, my friend. Definitely not a bad choice. Just like Finn Balor, this guy also has uh, two different sides to him. And Well, tonight, looks like he chose to bring out the demon side. Angelo Owens. Yeah, he is pretty cool, my friend. And No, no, man, I don't take it to offense. I have great superstars, man. I'm not going to complain about that. He is really good. I mean, just look at him. That guy scares the living daylights out of me. Angelo Owens making his way to their ring. Making his way to the ring. From Kill Devil Hill, North Carolina, weighing in at 195 pounds, the Reaper, Angelo Owen. Guys, we're just moments away from this huge ladder match. This match and I think that's the perfect adjective for this one, Cole. Huge. Especially considering we have not two, not XCW three, West but four superstars competing in this one. And make an entrance quite like the Reaper, Angelo Owens. And Byron, I'd say he appears to be at the top of his game right now. Well, he's going to need to be if he wants to survive tonight. this match. That's for sure. In this ladder match. Look at this. The crowd absolutely loves this man. I'm not really sure, though, 100% if this Portland crowd knows what to think of Angelo Owens at this point in time. But nonetheless... Definitely has a following. I don't know if it's because of XCW South or what it is, but the fans seem to gravitate towards Angelo. And I think it's just that eerie persona, that eerie, creepy presence that you're seeing right now on display. Oh, nice, man. Yeah, like I said, I'm definitely going to have to check him out. So I appreciate the the hashtag and everything. Oh, 
I hope you're going to enjoy this match, dude. Now, I, I, I am going to say one thing, and that is, and this is not to uh, offend anybody, but the Brandon Blaze that you guys will see, he's a little bit different than the original Brandon Blaze that I created for Xbox. Because I originally created Brandon Blaze on Xbox, but uh, and I moved him over to uh, PlayStation. He still looks pretty cool. But this man... Oh, this man's gonna do some damage. Oh, man. Oh, this is gonna be good. Just look at that. And his opponent. Oh, I'm sorry. First, I called him Nick. It's Mike Washington, Walker. DC, My bad. Weighing in at 285 pounds. Well, looks like I'm going to have to leave the commentary Mike booth one of these days. Or that I'm going to have to go and start A big time like, fatal four way match coming up here, guys. Which means, Manager, believe it or not, we're going to be, be sending away names. three of these superstars with a loss not here I tonight. Want to do, especially with somebody like Mike here. This guy will eat me up Corey, and have what me should we expect from him here tonight? I expect him to come out of the gate Jeez. hot, Cole. From what I've been told, he's been really I know, he's concentrating huge. on getting the advantage early. I'm hoping he's but not course, really that that's big. easier said than done. I don't remember him being that big. Maybe it's just the camera angles. <laughs> I'm just going to blame it on the camera angles. That way management doesn't yell at me again. There's no expression on the face of Mike Walker. Just focused on one thing and that's that contract hanging in that briefcase above the ring. Well, here comes my creation, and with a little help from Mike A. O'Connor and a few others, from Mount Everett, this Washington, is the PlayStation 4 version of Brandon Blade. Pounds, now, he does have a Brandon heel persona that Blade. will be revealed somewhere down the It's time the line. for one of Sports Entertainment's As most popular matches, the I ladder play. match. And the dangers these but superstars right are about to be the, faced uh, with should face not be overlooked. Is, ladder matches right can here. and usually do so get Blaze, pretty wild. And earlier in the show, at we saw um, his brother, Austin Blaze, I'd like to point out just how focused these guys look Danger. here tonight. They really do, Michael, which makes me so think you're in for one heck of a match here course, tonight. I like to call them the Blaze Brothers, are here in XCW West. Now, for those of you that watch XCW North with Mike A. O'Connor, you have learned that there is two more family members in the Blaze family, and that is Cameron and Dustin Blaze. They are half brothers and cousins of Austin and Brandon, and uh, of course it hasn't been officially announced in XCW North, but here in XCW West, Brandon Blaze's wife Amanda, who we will see later on tonight in our main event, will compete. She's another member of the Blaze family. Well, right now, Cupid is in the house, ladies and gentlemen, James. Love and is from Rochester, here. New York, weighing in at 257 pounds. I My am friend James Love, Love, man, he created this character. Ladies and, and gentlemen, it is now time for a fatal four-way match, and one of these superstars things. will walk away from here with plenty in to brag shows, about, and, and while the other others, three will likely uh, be wondering what went wrong for them here tonight. And then, of course, I've seen his online record for uh, Road to Glory. Corey, when it comes to in-your-face action, it, it doesn't get much better than the these guys. Yeah, these guys definitely get. like to fight, and Cole, I, and I fully expect I them to prove what, that here what tonight. What the name of that ranking is necessary. I think it's like Kingslayer, I think is what it is, is the highest one you can get. And he has used this character right here to gain that, uh, that ranking. So... Definitely see big things in the future for this guy, but let's see what he can do here tonight. And DJ, I just saw your comment. Your guy's 5'9", 197 pounds. Hey, man, that's not bad. Brandon Blades is only 5'8", uh, 5'9", five, five, like 100 and something pounds. So that's about average, honestly. That's not bad. All right, here we go, guys. Brandon Blades. 
the love we saw Mike Walker and Angelo One Owens. of the aspects to this type of, of match, which we'll makes it so interesting, is that it's going to the formation of unlikely alliances. Just another thing to have to worry about Angelo when you're competing Owens against three other superstars on all at the Blaze. same time. Any one of these James four Love competitors can win this Walker. match, guys, which is what makes this fatal four-way so unpredictable. Oh, look at that. This is a big Owens. match for all involved, guys. It certainly appears Sorry, Portland is ready for them to get it on. Let's touch on Owens a bit. In a fatal four-way, there are lots of moving Brandon parts. Lane what does he need to do to separate oh, himself here? Line. Obviously a talented competitor, Cole, but in matches like this, yeah, sometimes Walker it comes down to luck. Big, actually. Not all the time, of course. He's not big, big like I thought he was. He has his oh. hands full for sure. Oh. Uh, definitely think that James Love is going to have to call the paramedics at the end of this match. And a big he just shot. rammed off oh, the ropes that was a hard that shot. ladder by Mike Walker. What a Walker. strike. Wow, Brandon Blaze tossing around Mike Walker. Now his focus back on Angelo Owens. The Obviously Reaper. putting a lot of stock in that maneuver. Ooh. I know, man. He's huge. I didn't think he's he was that big. He's simply reminding him that he's the here. First time I used him. I guess maybe I should start playing with some of these guys. Before I start doing a show, <laughs> uh, but you know what? That that also makes it entertaining for me because I, I don't exactly know Here's what all the these setup. guys bring to the table. So yeah. that's what makes this interesting for me. And I know so long. Look out! Some Here's the belly to belly he suplex. I didn't know. I just thought he looked cool, and I was like, "All right, we're gonna use him." Was rec recommended to me by a friend. Look out! Oh, look He's at got this. it in his hands Speaking now. of the devil, Almost out of Mike time. Walker has his hands on the tight, or excuse me, it's on the briefcase. It's Walker on the defensive now. The fatal four-way environment might just be too much for him to handle. On, and guys, I guarantee you, you, the other three guys see the predicament right, he's Angela in and are thinking to of ways to capitalize on it. Now, all Slip four men the in the ring. He, uh, Love right. and Blaze. Watch oh, out. just took out Walker. Attacking his opponent 10 feet in the air. Angela like Owens. walking a tightrope, but more Our dangerous. Toss to the outside. The Still trying to get back to his feet Love here. Is down. He's Owens clearly is down. in a bad way right now. Brandon Blaze has that ladder. Oh, the ladder oh, finds the mark. It off the Gonna be face tough to bounce back from that Walker. one. He doesn't Love want to do this outside the ring. the ring. The ascent begins. Brandon Blaze ascending the rungs of the ladder. Hands oh, just slipped off this. the chair. James Love says not today, He's got Blaze. A hold of it. Clock's ticking. Not still my opportunity. Heads up the ladder. Over here comes Mike Walker. James Love and Angela Owens now working Hanging as a team. The oh, oh Brandon Blaze is in trouble. Hanging. Oh, and Angela Owens takes him out now. with a power bomb. Making matters worse. She's got right not one, up. but Owens, three but guys Owens. looking to destroy him here tonight. A DDT. crucial point in the match here, guys. He's got a target on his back Mike now, Walker's and I wouldn't be surprised to see a three-on-one attack here. I definitely Brandon admire Blaze. his style in oh, the oh, ring, but as this match goes on, he has to remember that you don't get points for respect, meaning he might have to be a little more ruthless than usual if he wants to win this match. It's just all over the place tonight. Look at this, the strength of Brandon Blaze. That misses the mark. That wasn't Love even close, Michael. Comes Mike Walker. Blaze has a second ladder in play. All four men now into the ring. Dodges the bullet there. Going everywhere right now. But oh, nice Samoan drop there by Mike some Walker. Damage. The love. Mike Walker, man, if I was you, I wouldn't want to talk. Wow, missed by a mile. Guys. Had that one well scouted. Here we go. Uh-oh, Mike Walker, this is not what Love wanted. Mike getting fired up. Somebody Told get the hose. This guy's on fire. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Up the ladder goes. Uh-oh. He's taking a Mike long Walker time to get up, guys. This match Perhaps in the bag. a little possum here, Cole. These guys better pay attention. Here comes Angelo And here's Owens. Walker. All he has to do now is pull it down. Can't blow it Angelo now. Owens. Come on, man. Unleashing Mike it for Walker the second time now. Briefcase. Here comes James Love. It seems clearing the Angelo ladder is Owens more back important. Than one. At this point, has one of these competitors is going to regret climbing that ladder pole. Has a sight set on Angelo wow. Owens. Look at him, guys. Love trying He's to take the opportunity. Come on. The clock's ticking. He's in a tough spot here, Corey. Love can and if have he it. doesn't get up, it's going to get has a his lot hands tougher. On that briefcase. And that chop finds its target. Owens has no idea what's going on. 
Here we go. Here Angelo Owens now to the top of the ladder. A vicious attack on top of the ladder. Here Not a Brandon great Blaze move. Now. Owens, love is down. He's very close to winning this thing, guys. Love rolls to the Come outside. On. Pull it. Pull it. Ain't no stopping him now. Blaze. Oh, and he's still Shots down, Byron. Back of the Things Angelo definitely Owens. aren't looking very good for him right now. Uh-oh. Angelo Owens in trouble. Oh, power bomb off the top Up, of the ladder. Up away. Now Byron, Brandon Blaze. He may be down for good. Be that wouldn't surprise me at all. Not after tonight. the beating he's taken. On that briefcase, can he pull it down? He almost has it, but Mike Walker. Nobody's pulled ahead here yet, guys. But as we all know, the complexion of a ladder match uh -oh, can change again, in an instant. Brandon Blaze in trouble. This time, Cup oh, is the attack on the back on the region. Ladder. Oh, and the ladder finds oh, the mark. The ladder. It'll be tough Angela to bounce Owen back from that one. Off of Mike Walker. Brandon Blaze is in trouble. And Byron, he's still down after that one. James yeah, Love that did some big back time damage, Michael. Angela Nobody Owens controls the pace of a match the match quite like this Can guy. Can pull it down? And now, oh, he's in the first place. Angela Owens. Owens. Right now, right now. Off the this could go one of two ways. Love. We shall see. We've got a climber. Wow, this is anybody. He's looking at it. Taking oh my God! Look at this. I don't think Mike he has Walker. anything left. Oh, the devastating! Now maneuver. it's time to Both capitalize. Down. You get dropped like that, you Mike don't Walker, get up. Here he is. Look this big man. Back on his feet. Here he All the other three competitors are down. And this here's is his Walker. chance. He's so close. His opportunity. He can probably taste the victory right now. Can now he pull you it down? Finish the job. Brandon Blaze slides back in. Brandon Blaze trying to get that ladder pulled down. Finally. And that's not going to be enough. You're a winner, over. ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Mike Walker qualifies for the globe, for the world title match at the view. Look at this. Bam! That impact on James Love. There's so many opportunities in this match for all four of these guys. Anybody could have won this match, but it just was not meant to be. Here is your Tonight winner, was Mike, Mike Walker's the ultimate Walker. opportunity. Gonna feel the effects of this win for a while. This, young this guy's rookie dominance in the fatal four-way match is simply undeniable. At the pay -per -view. I couldn't agree more. Congratulations, what an amazing Mike Walker. Contest that you learned was. it here tonight. Now comes the question: Is who is your opponent? We will determine that next week. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you might think this is a little funny, but yes. Yeah, he was just too big and too heavy. But you know what? I noticed in that match that any one of those guys actually could have pulled that down. I mean, I honestly thought that Brandon Blazer, Angelo Owens had it there a couple of times. So I'm really surprised. But ladies and gentlemen, up next, I, myself, the owner and competitor here in XCW West, Brandon Pickett, will join us live in the ring to address a few situations that have been going on here in XCW West, as well as letting us know how things have been going for him in XCW North. Wonder what's on his mind. And the wait is finally over. He's not gonna keep us waiting, so let's find out. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, the GM owner and competitor here in XTW West, myself, Brandon Pickett. Yeah, I know, I get a promo as myself. This is pretty cool. All right, listen up. XCW fans, I got something to say, and that's this right here. How is everybody doing tonight? Yeah? All right. Well, I'm fired up too, and you want to know why? Because I'm back in XCW West. Yeah, I went to XCW North, and I was part of Rebellion. I was undefeated. I became champion. I defended my title. But you know what Gotta happened? respect that. The worst thing ever, and that's this. I lost my match to somebody who you just saw moments ago, and that is Brandon Blaze. You see, Blaze, you beat me in a house show. 
I wasn't prepared to defend my title, but you know what? That's fine. My undefeated streak, yeah, I might have came to an end. But you know what? Soon, me and you are going to lock horns one-on-one. -on -one. And when I return back to the north, and I hope to God I get my shot at that gold once again, don't think I won't look right through you and regain my title. Because you know what? There ain't nobody in, in the north, the west, the east, or the south that can hold a candle to me. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for joining me here on XCW West. Now, let's get back to the action, shall we? I don't think it can be any more clear than that. What did we just see? Well, ladies wow, and gentlemen, just awesome. And if that's Brandon any indication, is back here in XCW for one West. Epic night. And I have a feeling that if I was Brandon Blaze, I wouldn't want to be anywhere near the GM. He's ready and willing to fight just about anybody that gets in his way. Enough, I'm pretty up. sure if he got Time his hands on event. Brandon Many Blaise, superstars are invited, but only one will be left standing at the end. Blaise. Time for the Battle Royal. Now, speaking of Blaze and the Blaze family, ladies and gentlemen, up next... Is our main Up event next is one of, of the most the dangerous evening. matches in You're all of sports West. entertainment. It is a in a match that will be over the top in the record battle books. Royal. Let's get this six-man battle royal main started. Event. The winner will qualify for the women's title match at the pay-per-view Gold Rush. And there you see the redhead there. That is Amanda Blaze, the wife of Brandon Blaze. She is competing in this match along with the other five very athletic and competitive women. As they come out, we will all get introduced to the other five. But as of right now, I'm giving you a spoiler and letting you know that the redhead right there, that is Amanda Blaze. That is my creation. Now granted, yes, I'll admit she does not look like that on Xbox, but hey, you know what? Xbox, PS4, two different systems. Two different versions of characters. And I want to kind of keep it that way. <laughs> so, alright. Hey, where do you guys keep disappearing to? At least I got three of you. Stay with me, guys. This is a main event. And then I'll be gone for a few more minutes. I'll come back and we'll have one more episode. Possibly. I'm going to check a few things here real quick. Make sure we can do another episode. Yeah, we should be able to do another episode. We'll see. So, DJ, you still here, my friend? Well, now I've just got two of you. Darn it, guys. Come on, guys. Don't leave me. We're almost done. All right, cool. Thanks, man. What do you think of the show so far? You like it? Pretty interesting, some of these matches, my friend. <laughs> kind of shocking. I wasn't expecting some of the people that have won tonight to actually win, but hey, you know what? That's one thing I like about uh, simulating the matches with the computer and not actually playing. It's pretty good. All right, main event time, guys. Here we go, women's action. Thank you, man. Okay, now... Oh, you gotta love this game. Uh, Making her way okay. to the ring. She's not really the champion, so let's just pretend that doesn't exist, but... Champion. I guess spoilers, now you guys get an idea of what the... Uh, as we get started here, like. let me remind everybody so that the only the way to get eliminated from this battle royal is to get thrown over the top rope and have both feet the touch the arena floor. And not only does it take a tremendous amount of skill to be successful so in a battle royal, does but there's also a good deal of luck that goes into moment. it as well. Nobody holds any titles here in XCW. It's, unfortunately, I guess that's well, guys, who, uh, she certainly has her work cut out for her here tonight. That's for sure. But yeah, but she knew that coming in, Cole. Right I now, assure you, she did her homework and knows exactly <laughs> oh, what to well, expect from her opposition. Oh, well, we're just going to pretend you didn't see that. Not the first time this has happened to me, but... Darn it, 2K. 
That was Amanda Blaze. And her opponents. First. Here comes from Helena, Cynthia Edenwood. And we saw the one of her faction members. A huge opportunity for these six superstars here tonight, guys. But as the great Dusty Rose would say, only one will make it to the pay window at the end of this. Take one. on Amir Ryan for the global title. Guys, and I don't now, recall the last the time I saw turn. these women more focused than they Colt look right Murphy. now. It's a big match, Cole. To expect Looks anything less from these women uh, here tonight would be just plain right silly. Here, Cynthia Edwood. We're in a shot at the women's title. Cynthia definitely doesn't look very happy to be in front of these fans here tonight, it looks like. But hey, you know, if you want to be a superstar, you got to compete wherever, whenever, against whomever. Oh, and who is this? I know we and just signed this one Dresden, here. from Germany, the Queen. Oh, nice. Man. A big-time battle royal here, guys. Awesome. Who do you like? In this one, Byron. Well, historically, you're safest when you put your money on the biggest superstar. But to be honest, I'm not sure. I can see any one of these competitors walking anyway, away with a win. That's pretty good, man. I like that. That's, that's awesome to hear. And I would say this match will have a big impact on how the other women view right these competitors here, moving forward. Without a doubt, Cole. And given how heated the women's division week, is right now, even a single loss can set you back. Give her an serve. opportunity in our first match here tonight. That's cool. The NWA Southern Heavyweight. Oh man, that's cool, man. Wow. That's awesome, dude. Congrats. So that last superstar we saw. I'm trying to remember her first name. I do the last From one's Brooklyn, one's. New York. Here comes Daniel, Daniel Blackheart. Blackheart. The atmosphere inside this arena for this one is absolutely Daniel insane, Blackheart guys. Like and if you think this is insane, just wait until in this thing kicks division. into high gear. You ain't seen nothing yet. She clearly looks to be in great shape, but Corey, is she mentally prepared for this match here tonight? Well, she better be, because if she's not, I can guarantee that tonight is going to be a very short night for her. Here, broken glass. Oh, I wonder who this could be. And from Chicago, oh, yes, Illinois, ladies and gentlemen, the Rebel, Rachel, Rachel Sharp. Sharp. We've seen her. Ladies and gentlemen, we have six of WWE's top superstars competing Nigen, in this battle royal coming up next. I don't know about you guys, but I've been looking forward to this battle royal now, all Rachel Sharp, night. Though, Let's get this thing started. Singles opportunity here tonight in the main event. Byron, I think these women may be caught off guard a bit by this stellar crowd reaction they're receiving here. I don't know why, Michael. It seems like they get go. one of the biggest reactions each and every week. You think they'd be used to it by now? Well, nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event. Here on FCW West.
This will be our main event, Battle Royal, to determine one of the competitors for the women's title. At Gold Rush. And from Carson City, Nevada. Here comes Nevada. Schmidt. Hallie Schmidt. Byron, are you at all surprised by the intensity level inside this arena right now? Not in the least bit, Michael. This is the one the WWE Hallie Universe Schmidt. has been looking forward to for quite some time. Making her in-ring debut here in XCW West. And Corey, what in terms of raw talent, Haley. where do you think these women rank as it relates to the other competitors in the division? No, they're right the there at the top, Cole. Years to from now, I think we're going to look back at these the women and realize just how lucky we were to watch them compete. That's how talented yeah, they are. Yeah, Sharp's pretty good, man. She's... I, I can't remember if I've used her in singles competition yet. I, I know in a tag team match, I've used her. She's teamed up with Christina... Or Christine... Uh, Christine, maybe even, sorry, Christine or Christine. Anyway, Nigen, and uh, they were taking on um, Ali and Haley Star of Starstruck. Um, I think that was last one. So. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Our Here big we go. battle royal is underway. Man, out of the gate. If it was me, I'd start this thing by going right Cynthia after the Edward biggest competitor. It. Then worry about the rest of the field. And you can't tell me this Portland crowd isn't fired up. Just listen to them. One move after the other. It's devastating. Your chop lands flush. Plenty of force behind that strike. Okay, guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about Sharp here. We know she can compete, but how is she going to actually win this thing? Good grief, Richard look Sharp. at this. Now this is what I'm talking about. You have two card. people in there that are just going all out because they know only one Andy of them Schmidt can have their the hand raised as the oh, K2. No one doubts if she can be the one who gets the job done in there, but she and everyone else must keep in mind it takes more than that to get a victory in WWE. Uh-oh, Sharp's in trouble. Blackheart trying to throw her over the top. Sharp hanging on and Sharp with an elbow. Stays in this matchup. Got her. Wait Sharp a, feeling the heat now. Here's what we're going to see when she's laid up. Hey, unless you're Andre the Giant, the battle royals are difficult. And she's title. clearly not Andre the Giant. So I can understand struggling a little bit. a pretty good show. Just a little off. bit of over a two-hour show. And our main event, and I think it's going pretty well. She gets her with a vicious chop. Brand new, arena, brand new And she video. strikes with great She's precision. Stars Just a clubbing win. axe handle. And shocking Got the returns. reversal. And, uh, that strike was strategically that's placed what on her opponent. About. You just never know who's going to, you know, what's going to happen, who's going to show up, what management decides to do. Oh, and Amanda you Blaine's in trouble. You can see the confidence just beaming from her, her right out. now. Go oh, on, Amanda Blaze hangs here. on. Oh, but Wolf continues. Bang! Amanda Blaze still to... could be in oh, trouble. Oh, man, she's rolling now. God, oh, little stick shot. Alive. And right on the mark. None of these women want she to get over here tonight. She delivers a forearm. I don't well, blame that's him. any indication she's they not taking any prisoners in this one. Store for him here tonight. Big miss right there. She wasn't even oh, close, close, Michael. Man. Just taking the boots to Rachel Sharp there. Here we Sharp. go. Oh! She got her oh. with a reversal. Haley Schmidt Corey, looking at let's a replay. Look at this again. She's in control Super now. Kicks. Rachel Sharp over the top rope, and Rachel Sharp is out. What a shot. We are down if you to take five. any more like that, you're going to resemble a heavy bag. Oh. The inverted DDT Blackheart connects. Definitely Haley not Sharp. where you want to be right Cynthia now. you have got to find a way to get Lockhart out of this, Michael. Taking it to Edwood, though. Amanda Blaze still in it. And now she's on the offensive. Looks she's like she's starting to stumble a bit. Outside. But she's not careful. She's going to find herself in some serious Blaze, trouble here. That. When you start becoming fatigued in a match like this, the oh, wait, other competitors in the ring can sense oh, it. Cynthia Believe Edward me, she has out. a big target Lockhart on her back. with the super kick. This we is not where she Amanda. wants to be. Oh, her Amanda Blaze is clearly getting the best of her here. Well, she's lasted this far, Man, which is a credit Blaze to her, but I'm not Heart so sure she could take on much more punishment and still expect to win here. this battle royal. Yeah, but I look for her to take some chances here moving forward in an attempt to gain the upper hand. That's just her personality. Look Blackheart, at her go. Haley Schmidt, Wolf, 
and Amanda Blaze are the last four women. And there goes Wolf. Wolf is gone. Well executed close oh, line. Oh. Both Blackheart and Schmidt collectively technically have two eliminations. She's got to find a way to get up here, guys. That won't be easy, Michael, given the beating she's taking so alive. far. I don't know that how one she's was doing off the it, mark. she is. Awful. She's still here. Just plain awful. Look at the look at her eyes. She's in the zone Drops now. The Blackheart. Blackheart You'd have to think the hitting the finisher That's here could end this thing. Amanda Blaze, look at this. Now both Amanda Blaze and Haley Schmidt trying to get rid of Blackheart. I think we're at the point of this match where the finisher could be used at oh, any Blackheart moment here. Blackheart stays alive even after the double team. That move at this juncture of the match makes the intention unmistakable to be little. Oh no, she's in a bad way now. Amanda Blaze takes out Blackheart. Now Haley Schmidt. Legs taken nice out by the Russian, Russian leg sweep. sweep. There on Amanda Blaze. Amanda Blaze. She's in oh, control now down, following that slam. Blaze. Haley Schmidt in control. But it's a reversal. Nice reversal. Shot to the kidneys there by Amanda. And she turns it around on her. Trying to go for a neck breaker. Haley Schmidt reverse. She's looking at it. She uh -oh. is on fire. Looking for the blaze driver. That double underhook. For the pile, pile driver. driver. That has got to be it. Her. That's one of those moves oh, where you check your nowhere. extremities Black upon heart. impact. Raining down fists, lefts and rights on Amanda Blaze. Off that Lutez press. And over the top rope. It's Blaze not very often you see on. six superstars of this Amanda caliber Blaze competing been at the same eliminated. time. We're down to Haley Schmidt and Blackheart. She might have it. Gosh, no, there's the reversal. First I'm a bad guy. Oh well. I'm trying. She's got something in mind. I'll get him down eventually when I start using more guys. I apologize for that. Haley Great Schmidt. Move. With the blockbuster. She's calling for it. Uh oh. Blackheart could be in trouble. What a She's Haley's looking at it. Here. Lifts her up on the shoulders. I'll be oh, shocked if that's Death not it. Valley Drive up the bus. This one is over. These two women battling it out in our main event. This is what's know, left guys, I really thought we would have seen the finisher the already. Battle Royal. Looking for a repeat. Haley Schmidt. Oh, she had the drop kick. The black oh, she has an answer for that staying one. Staying alive. Catches her off the top rope. This is getting intense, ladies and gentlemen. She wants it one more time. Oh, drop kick. Oh, man, and Daniel Blackheart the final wins the match. And this one. Daniel is over. Blackheart qualifies for the women's title match at Gold Rush. Congratulations to Daniel Blackheart. And look at this from Amanda Blaze. What a devastating finishing maneuver that is. And then Haley Schmidt dropping Daniel Blackheart. I thought this was it. I thought Schmidt had it here. Here is your winner, Danielle Blackheart. And there's the last one standing. What a match. Ladies and you're not and feeling good about yourself show, after a, a win like that. You better get yourself checked. There's now no this topping is that main event, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for spending your evening with us. West. Have a great We're night. We're on the road to Gold Rush in two weeks. We have more to come on the next episode of XCW West. I thank you for watching. I have been your host, Brandon Pickett. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, keep thrilling and killing. And remember, XCW is the place to be. And don't forget, sooner or later, Devolution will make its return with episode 15. So, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. Subscribe, hit the like button, turn on notifications, and remember...
I love you all. Have a good night. Thank you for watching. Picket and Thriller are out.